hello guys welcome to my channel today uh, we are going to discuss about uh, lab 7 stagnography it's in the course of introduction to cyber security so as we can see on the screen that uh, the lab 7 stagnography uh, hiding data uh, lab overview is becoming familiar with the use of stagnography tool and we have given lab requirements and pre-lab uh, discussion after that uh, when we scroll down we also get to see the lab objective part 1 part 2a part 2b part 3 part 4 and uh, we are today we are going to do from part 2a install uh, stegheid and stegosuit so for that as you can see we need to sign into vSphere Kali image so here uh, I have just uh, uh, done that portion I have logged into my uh, vSphere Kali image and I also launched my uh, web console here you can see after login uh, so after login we need to install the seg uh, Steghide and Stegosuit so for that we need to go into the terminal terminal command and uh, this is this how the terminal command looks like and after this we need to install the stegide and stegosuit software so as you can see in this uh, we have already given two links to perform how to install both the softwares uh, yeah, you can watch the video as well or either you can see the link how to do it and i am doing it with my own so let's start So first of all, you need to open the uh, vir your virtual machine Kali Linux, and after that, uh, you need to uh, you need to see whether your Kali Linux machine is updated or not. If not, then you need to first update the Linux machine, and after that, you need to perform. Right now, we are uh, doing uh, we are doing stack hide uh, program. And for that, we need to give the first command that for installation is uh, sudo apt install sudo apt get install stack hide. After giving, it is asking for password. So the password is uh, already mentioned. It is uh, it is already installed. So what we need to do is, uh, as you can see in, on the file, we need to use Stegide in Kali Linux to store the hidden information. So and uh, uh, use an image form and create a file as the mentioned below. So for that, I am opening Mozilla Firefox in uh, Kali Linux, and uh, here we can see we can get some image like uh, animal and on the images portion we will be uh, getting some images like uh, save and yes uh, you can save uh, anywhere like any on the location i am saving it on the desktop like uh, the image i'm giving name as image one and okay so it's you can see here uh, image one is already saved and i am taking another image like uh, this one the dog image and i am also saving it and all uh, i am giving this as image 2 and on the desktop you can see so after that we need to create a text file so for that we need to go here we need to uh, type in that and that is com552 introduction to cyber security and that is uh, com five by two introduction to cyber security and the other line is uh, section name and uh, today's date and stick divide the so section name section is this and date is today's date which is 29 
and uh, stegoid we need to save this so for that save as option and desktop i am saving like uh, is it mentioned the first name dot part to be dot txt so first name dot part to be dot txt so as you can see on the desktop uh, it is save as txt file so now we have to run a command like uh, if you want to get help from the Kali Linux uh, if you don't remember any uh, commands then you can get like uh, steg hide help so it will show you all the commands like the first command is uh, ef for embedded file second is cf for cover file so like this it will show all the commands now we are going to uh, we are going to store a text file into an image so for that i need to give the command like stack hide embed as we know that for storing the file for embed for embedding the file we need to use ef so dash ef and you need to uh, drag and drop the file from like here and after that so guys as uh, we are going like we need to put uh, the command for inserting the image like we need to insert the image like this drag and drop and after that uh, we need to put some password so dash p and password is like i am putting my own password you can put your as your own and uh, you can see that embedding uh, the text file in image file is done right now what we need to do is we need to extract the file so for that i am giving command uh, stack hide extract i am giving command for image so now as you can see the image uh, one so i am going to drag and drop the image one from here and now we need to give password that is my password which i gave before and after that i need to put the text file so here is my text file i am putting it yeah after that uh, it is asking the file the text file does already exist overwrite it yes or no then it's yes so it is uh, completed guys it is saying that wrote extracted to data so as you can see that uh, it is this uh, the file data consists the same but yes what we can do is we can perform the same thing but in a different manner like to be uh, what we need to do is we need to change the file name like uh, my file name is manthan dot part two b so we can say uh, we can put like manthan part two b uh, part two b m and then after uh, we are going to give the command so as you can see here on the desktop uh, my another file has created it's a new file so uh, it's got extracted and the data in it that uh, uh, the data is the same so this is how you need to uh, create a file and we need to download a uh, image and that's how you can extract the image from text or text to image thank you